Woo! Russell Maniac, aka Blu ray Maniac, aka Grizzle Maniac. All up, buddy! Well, oh God, we're back for another Blu ray update. It's so many. Um, it says in the title. I want to say it's close to 80. It may be more, it may be less. But um, it's just a shit fuck ton. How about that? There's so many. I've had to rearrange my shelving just to be able to fit all this in the shelves afterwards. But, okay. Um, first and foremost, thank y'all so much for all the continued support. Um, like I said, we hit over 5,000 subscribers a while back, so thank y'all so much for that. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Jay Smotherman, one of my buddies. Um, anybody that's, I know y'all, we got a lot of collectors on here, so anybody that's got memorabilia that they need framed um, and stuff like that, he can do that. Um, I will put his link in the description box for the websites you can go to if you want to get stuff like for memorabilia to get stuff framed and things like that, but it's really, really cool. He does really good work. Um, so I want to put that in the description box. So y'all check that out. That's my boy Jay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get started, baby. We got a shit ton, okay? I'm a little bit sleepy, or not sleepy. I'm a little bit just tired in general. I've been catching up on all the movies that are nominated for Oscars tonight. Tonight's Oscar night. The only one, as far as the main ones that I haven't been able to see, was La La Land because it's not out on digital. Uh, me and Viz have been buying some digital stuff on some of the movies um i just watched manchester by the sea this morning i watched um fences last night i watched nocturnal animals a couple nights ago um all good movies uh manchester by the sea very well made movie but god dang it just one of the most depressing movies of all time not one I'll be purchasing, just for the simple fact, I would never watch it again. It was a good movie. Casey Affleck was amazing. Affleck was amazing. But uh, it's not really a rewatchable film for me, so me and Jordan got the digital copy of that one and watched it. Um, Nocturnal Animals, really good movie. I'll be picking that up once it gets a little bit cheaper. Um, Fences was amazing. Definitely will be picking, I'll, I will be picking Fences up. Denzel was great, and Viola Davis was amazing in that, so... Um, and yeah, we're going to get right into this pickups. Now that I've ran my fucking yapper for three minutes. Ugh, there's so many. Um, I've got Target, Best Buy, a couple of Walmarts, shit tons of pawn shops, CD Warehouse, uh, McKay's, Great Escape, Best Buy, everywhere. eBay. So we're just going to go through it. First thing, I already owned Aladdin, of course. Um... And I just didn't have the slip for it. Because when it first came out, I bought Aladdin with the lenticular slip. And I ended up selling that lenticular slip to somebody, knowing I could just get the regular one. Because I don't really collect the lenticular slips for the Disney. I'm cool with just the regular ones. Um, so I've been looking for the slip cover for Aladdin when well, you can't find it anywhere. Um, I was hoping when I got the extra copy of Aladdin in the Disney Movie Club that it would have came with a slip and it didn't. So randomly, I was at Target. And there was like 10 copies of Aladdin on the shelf, and the last copy had the slipcover. So I did get the slipcover for Aladdin, which is cool. It's such a good slip, such a cool slip. My favorite Disney movie ever. So glad to get that one, get that slipcover for that. Um, and we'll, I'll show you the, the few DVDs that I got, get those done. Um, if y'all watched my Outski and Abowski, I picked up a few DVD, uh, two DVDs at McKay's, just because they don't have Blu-ray releases, and I love both the movies. It's Friday After Next with um, Mike Epps and Ice Cube. Of course, you got Cat Williams, John Witherspoon, Terry Crews. The weakest of the three, but it's a good one. Plus, it's good to add. I'll add this to the Christmas collection because it's a Christmas one, obviously. Um, so, look forward to getting that. It was brand new, and it was uh, 5 bucks, I think. So, I opened it. It's one of those flipper discs, which I despise. Um, it's one of those New Line Infinifilm DVDs they used to come out with back in the day. They were so cool. So, got that. And I also picked up Tupac Shakur and uh, Marlon Wayne's Above the Rim. My favorite Tupac movie besides uh, Poetic Justice or Juice 
Again, this one needs a blue. Juice needs a blue. Poetic Justice needs a Blu-ray release. I don't really know why they're slacking on the Pac movies for blue, but this is a great one. This was five bucks and it was new as well. McKay's. And that's about what they went for on Amazon. So, <clears throat> And then I picked up two WWE pay-per-views. You know, I'm still collecting those. You got um, TLC 2016, which was the SmackDown pay-per-view. AJ on the cover there. And then you got a New Day trading card in there with it. Pretty good show. And then you had Roadblock 2016, which to me was the weakest pay-per-view of the year. But I'm collecting them all. And I, I completed all the pay-per-views when I bought this one. And this is the Raw pay-per-view. It had Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. So, got those. And let me just get all these, stuff, these sorted out because Target had an amazing deal going where they had buy two, get one free on any movie or board game or I think books and which all I heard was movie because that's all you need to worry about. So I did, I went ham and I got nine total. So I got, I did the buy two, get one three times. Before I do that, I'll show you the target pickup. I did just get my favorite movie of the year. Deepwater Horizon was until I watched this and that is Hacksaw Ridge. Um, Mel Gibson is a, did an amazing job with this. In my opinion, it should win best film. It's not going to. The Hollywood hates Mel Gibson. Um, but such an amazing movie. My favorite war movie now. Saving Private Wine. 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 Saving Private Ryan was my favorite. But now Hacksaw Ridge is, motherfuckers. Okay? Target exclusive still book only twenty bucks, and I like it because it's one of those, one of those like matte finishes. Um, Andrew Garfield was amazing in this. Vince Vaughn was great. It's, can't recommend this movie enough. Definitely go check this one out. It's Hacksaw Ridge. Now that wasn't part of the buy two get one free. Um, first off, I got this here. Okay, so excited about this. The complete Beavis and Butthead collection DVD. Now I know Walmart's got this with the digital Voodoo codes, and the, the Voodoo codes are selling for like fifteen bucks. I didn't know that till after I bought this, but it, it worked out better for me because I did the buy two get one. So this is twenty five bucks. Okay, this is every uh, well it says includes uh, includes TV episodes, the movie, and music videos. It says complete collection, so I'm just gonna have to say that it is. It's twelve hours. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. Love Beavis and Butthead. One of my favorite cartoons ever. And it's cool that they got the music videos on here too. Plus you got Beavis and Butthead Do America DVD on there too. It's one of those cheap, um, it's Paramount. So it's one of those cheap deals with the disc and stuff. But I mean, it's, it, it works fine. Um, I love Beavis and Butthead. So I was really excited to get that. And then next up, I picked up. <clears throat> Pinocchio, the uh, signature series. Great. One of my favorites as a kid, too. When I was younger, I used to have the Pinocchio VHS a long, long time ago. The clamshell. And um, just really cool slip cover. Just, just collecting all the Disneys that I can just to have them before they go back in the vault. Because a lot of these that are coming out now aren't staying out long at all. And they're putting them right back in the vault. So, got that one. I haven't watched it yet on Blu ray, but I heard it's awesome on blue. And this is the one I got free. It's Peach Dragon. Um, but this was my uh, Disney movie of the month last month, and I almost got it. But I was like, well, let me wait. I may be able to find it cheaper, and it ended up working out great because I got it free. Plus, I sold the code for eight bucks. So, um, and I sold the code for, to Pinocchio for eight dollars. So, it ended up working out. I made fifteen, sixteen dollars back on that purchase. So, for fifty bucks, I got those three. And then after the code sales, it was like thirty-five dollars that I made made it out with so can't wait to see peach dragon i haven't watched that yet i was going to try to watch it before the i don't think it's nominated for any oscars or anything but got those and then the next three that i got was arrival oh man what a movie this was golly amy adams jeremy renner and forrest whitaker i wish i looking back i should have got the uh, 4k but in the buy two get one the, they were sold out of the 4ks at the target i was at they just had the blues so and it was five dollars more. I hadn't and I hadn't seen it yet. I wanted to make sure I liked it, but I'll definitely upgrade this to 4K whenever I get a 4K player and T 
TV and stuff. Um, it's just so good. The way that I love Alien movies, and the way they went about this one was just awesome. I thought Amy Adams was great in it. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend that one. It's Arrival. And then I picked this up. It's Miles Teller and Aaron Eckhart, and it's Bleed for this. Haven't watched this one yet. Um, I'm a sucker for boxing films. You know, I liked Hands of Stone. Nobody else did. I liked it. It was, it was just okay. It wasn't great, but I'm a big Miles Teller fan, and I can't wait to check this out. I just have it. It kind of got put on the back burner because I was trying to catch up all the, the Oscar nom, you know, movies. But uh, Jordan said it was good. Um, I, I let him get the code for this one, and he said it was good. He said it wasn't nothing great or anything, but he said it was good. So I look forward to this, and it's got a cool slip on it too, and, um, with an embossed um, lettering and stuff on it. So that's bleed for this. And then the free one that time, I had the first two of these that Tony, or yeah, the first two that he's Tony gave me on our first meetup. And um, when I found out this had a trilogy, I was like, well, if I can find the trilogy, I'll uh, I'll get the trilogy, you know, to save space and everything. And I found it. It was the one I got for free at Target with the slipcover. That's the It Man trilogy. Man, <clears throat> I can't talk about how much I've been looking forward to this. The guys love it. Tony Quitoni's a huge, you know, martial arts, kung fu movie fan. Um, Doc, Doctor Movie Ninety One said it's great. Outlaw said it's great. I want to say Jordan hasn't watched them yet either, but he's got the trilogy. I think Doc picked that up for him. But um, look forward to checking these out. And it came with that awesome slipcover. So. Got it for free. And the next three that I got, we're like in the cheap section. This is one that the guys have been talking about, and I'm, I don't really have a lot of these type of movies in my collection. I'm trying to get more of them. But they've all seen it and said it was all, it was really good. And that's Age of Adeline with Blake Lively, who I love her. Uh, this was $7.50, I think. They had it on sale at Target. And then I went to the $5 section, and they had these two in the $5 section, which that's about the price I wanted to pay for them. That's the Da Vinci Code with the slip. And Angels and Demons I got for free with the slip. I sold the codes for three bucks a piece. So, haven't watched these movies. I heard they're okay. Um, I almost got Inferno instead of Bleed for this. As the, you know, my buy two get ones. But I was like, no, nah, I can get Inferno when it gets cheaper to get the trilogy together. But um, I know these are a lot to take in. So, I'm going to. Watch them at some point, but to get them with the slip covers was a great deal, I thought. So that's my Target stuff. Now let's go to Best Buy. Actually, we're going to go to Walmart. I only have one pickup from Walmart. Walmart is starting to release universe, random Universal titles for um, exclusive to them. You know, kind of like Best Buy did with the Burbs and Great Outdoors, Dream Team, and Money Pit. And then three months later, they'll release them worldwide, I guess, nationwide. But I'm a huge John Candy fan, and I had never seen this movie, but when I found out it was going to be a Walmart exclusive, I went and they actually have them in store for $7. That's Brewster's Millions. I really enjoyed this one. It's not one of the best candy movies or anything like that, but its I thought it was really cool. Basically, um, what was I going to talk I was drawing a blank. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a weird premise. Like, Richard Pryor, one of Richard Pryor's relatives that he doesn't even know who's a white man that's a relative and they explain it some really ridiculous way dies and leaves and he's the only relative that he has and in the will he says um i'm gonna give you a try i'm gonna give you a chance to do this if you can spend 30 million dollars within 30 days without having any assets at the end of the 30 days you can't donate the money you can't give the money away you got to just blow the money if you can do that in 30 days, then I'll give you 300 million. If you fail, you get nothing. Or you can take a million dollar buyout. Well, of course he does the whole 30 million. So he's just blowing money and it's kind of a really random premise, but I thought it was cool. John Candy was good in it. And it's it it, it, it wraps up well, like it does well at the end. So I thought it was fun. You know, no, no special features or anything, but just to get these like random releases on Universal or on Blue is cool. I'd love to see like, who's Harry Crumb? Um, Summer Rental, which I've never seen that one, but I'm just a big candy fan, so I'd like to get all of them. Now, they can hold off on what, getting, putting out Wagons East and Canadian Bacon. No, I don't really need those. <clears throat> so, these were buy one, get one free. And at Best Buy, they had the whole save station was buy one, get one free. We're 15 minutes. It's going to be a long video. Uh, I'm talking a lot. 
But this is buy one get one free. This was 15 bucks. I got Jerry Maguire, the 20th anniversary edition. Comes with like 90 minutes of features, plus it comes with the soundtrack, which I thought was cool. Said it's a Best Buy exclusive. Came with the slip cover. Um, I had never seen this. I'd only seen bits and pieces. But man, what a good movie. Tom Cruise was great in it. So was Renee Zellweger. I'm not the biggest fan of her, but Cuba Gooding Jr. was amazing in it. And uh, the soundtrack's really cool to it, too. So that was cool they included that. I don't know if anybody listens to CDs anymore, really. But, <laughs> um, So, yeah, I got that. It was 15 bucks. And then I sold the code for like three or four. And then, you know, a big fan. We're, we're all a big fan of Van Damme. You know, the Blue Limit Soldiers are. And I'm a big fan of Kickboxer, the first one. Well, I saw this one. I didn't, everything else in the Sony Safe Station I already had. So I found Kickboxer Vengeance with the slip. And it was free. Um, you, got, you got Batista in this, who plays Tong Po. And um, uh, Tony said he's, for, he's crazy looking as Tong Po. You got Van Damme in it. It's George St. Pierre, Gina Garano. So for a freebie, why not? It's Kickboxer Vengeance. Not expecting great things out of it. Then I found this. This was on sale for $9.99 randomly um, a couple weeks ago. They had one of them in, with the slip in store, but the slip's kind of messed up, but I went ahead and grabbed it anyway. That's Triple X, Vin Diesel. Um, just another one of those Sony titles. Or no, well, Sony, yeah. It'll end up being in the safe station. You see the slip cover's kind of shoo shoo on the corners, but that's fine. I've never seen this movie, but I'm a big fan of Vin Diesel, and you know I'm getting to where I'm liking the Fast and the Furious movies more. So I wanted to grab this since that new one's coming out on blue soon. So it's triple X and the code sold for three or four bucks. These were just random. Um, I picked this up. I've been seeing where it's going out of print or it's out of print or something, but Best Buy still had it. So it must not be out of print yet. That's Wedding Singer. Totally uh, awesome edition. I thought I had that, but apparently I did. It's one of the only Sandler movies I don't have. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it for $9.99 on Best Buy's website, just in case it goes out of print. Plus, I like the movie, too, so got that one. Uh, then they just had a random sale. This is one I, pa I passed up on so many times. I finally just said, the hell with it. Let's get it. It was in store. It was 10 bucks. Stephen King's It. I didn't buy it when everybody else did. I, it was one I picked up on a couple of our meetups, and I just put it back, found something else. And I ended up grabbing it for 10 bucks. You know, about the same price it was when it came out, so... Need to get Salem's Lot and Cat's Eye as well. Really starting to get back on that horror train. You know, it's it's already March almost, so we're getting closer to, to October every you know every day. So it, I remember liking that okay when I was little, but I haven't seen it since I was a kid. So um, now this one was a six ninety nine er, and I'm just trying to get all the Denzel stuff. And this is Spike Lee film or Spike Lee joint. My bad. And that's Malcolm X. Never seen it. Um, it's a beast of a fucking movie, though. 201 minutes. I have to pack a lunch and uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a <laughs> long movie. But uh, 6.99. They never have that in stores ever. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Now I had the I had seven, which I showed in my last update, I believe, from the Blu-ray bin. Me and Skeggs found it. But when I saw this for ten dollars, the three pack, I went ahead and sold my copy of Seven to Great Escape. Or the CD Warehouse because I found this awesome three pack. It's Seven, Insomnia, and Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate I've never seen. Um, Insomnia I've seen. It's 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 pretty good. Seven's amazing. But to get that with the slip, this was nine. This was nine ninety nine. They had a couple more three packs too. They had um, the Matrix tri triple pack, which I only like the first Matrix. I didn't really into the other two. And then the other one was like <clears throat> Ghost Ship, Return to the House of Haunted Hill, and House of Wax. I've already got House of Wax. I don't care nothing about Return of the House of Haunted Hill and Ghost Ship is just a uh, shoe shoe. So to get that for ten bucks, I thought it was a good Steelio dealio. You know what? That? What? Don't we're not gonna use that again. <clears throat> Walmart Ben five ninety six U five seven one. This is Matthew McConaughey. Um, Outlaw said this movie's awesome. There's a couple more new additions. Shout out to Johnny Gill, Bobby Brown, and. Ralph Tresvant and the whole new edition crew. Uh, Outlaw showed me there's... Outlaw and Tony saw something in the new Van Damme 2-pack that's in the uh, Blu-ray bin at Walmart. I think it's The Order and Nowhere to Run or something, which looks terrible, but it's Jean-Claude. you got to get them. But that, we're not talking about that, Chad. U571. 
Heard it's good. Haven't watched it yet. All right. Uh, now we're just gonna we're just gonna go through these. These are just randoms. This is all a a conglomerate mixture of pawn shops, Great Escape, CD Warehouse, McKay's Pawn Shop, Pawn Shop, Pawn Shop, eBay. Okay. Chain Reaction, three bucks at a pawn shop. Never seen it. Keanu Reeves, Morgan Free Morgan Freeman. Just trying to get these catalog titles together, baby. Secret Window, Johnny Depp. This is another $3 pickup. Um, love this movie. Haven't seen it in a few years, but glad to get that. And we got Me, Myself, and Irene. I got this for th four bucks. It was a Jim Carrey film I didn't have, Fairly Brothers. Renee Zellweger, what? Um, we got another Denzel film, The Inside Man. Denzel, Clive Owen, Jodie Foster. When I was going ham in the pawn shops, I didn't realize that this one looked like it had just been, had just has all kinds of just pawn shop ickiness on it. But I, I cleaned it up and um, was able to watch it and it worked fine. I love this movie. It's Inside Man, great heist film. Then we've got, this is from pawn shop, yeah, Rescue Dawn, Christian Bale and Steve Zahn. Never seen it, but after watching Hacksaw Ridge, I'm all about some war films, so glad to grab that. Whoa, glad to grab that one. Speaking of war films, Whammy. This is a sniper film. I don't know if it's... That's a war movie. Sorry. The most triumphant war movie since Saving Private Ryan. I'll have to watch that today. Joseph, Fien uh, Joseph Fiennes and Jude Law. Enemy at the Gates, baby. Guys, so that's a really good one, too. Next up, we've got Mel Gibson and Payback. Now, I know there's a this is a collector's edition with the director's cut. I've heard the theatrical version's better, but this is the Blu-ray, so I got it for six bucks on eBay. It's Mel Gibson dead coming. Speaking of Mel Gibson, look at this. Air America, Mel Gibson, Robert Downey Jr., no clue. Three dollars I wanted for it on eBay. I told the guys it's kind of a funny thing. One night we were on a hangout watching it, we were just shooting the shit, and I got a little tipsy. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a running joke now with me. I get tipsy, and for some reason, I just get on eBay and just start bidding on shit. Uh, I think I bid twelve dollars on a movie that I already had, and I, I just, I was just drunk and didn't know. Luckily, I didn't win it. But Air America was one of those. So I heard it's good, and if it's not, it was three bucks. You know, I can sell it. I don't like it, but it looks good. Now this is the this is the running joke of the crew. Now I got this when I first started collecting in 2013, and I never watched it, and I think it ended up getting traded in or something because I was like, eh. <laughs> but this was the one that I bid on. It just made no sense. But I won it. It was two bucks, and I'm gonna watch it. That guy, me and Outlaw are gonna watch it because he said it's good. It's just such a random movie to to bid on on eBay. That's Jonah Hex. I wasn't even gonna show this because I'm so just like embarrassed by it the situation but I was like no I need to show it and just just to tell the story enough is worth is worth it but golly Megan Fox I would drink her bath water dead gun shout out to Josh Brolin I love the Goonies next up we've got get off my fucking lawn Gran Turismo Gran Turismo oh you failing fuck Gran Torino Chad Gran Turismo was a Playstation game I think for Playstation 1 I don't even know if it made it over to the PS3 Gran Torino Botchamaniac. Page Master. Page Master. I just said it with a half ass English accent there. Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd. I am a gangster. Page Master. <sighs> keeping it moving, Chad. Just keeping it moving. The Naked Gun, the first one. Need to get the other two. Um, I don't know if these are out of print because they're they're on they're not on uh, Target. They're because I was trying to get these in the buy to get one. They're not on Target's website, they're not on Best Buy's website. You go on to eBay and they're like 10 to 30 bucks. So I don't know if it's one of those that's going out of print as well, but I, I've seen this one so many times, but I've never seen two and three. So I need to get the other two, but there's a naked gun. And then I picked up Coming to America, classic Eddie Murphy when he actually was funny and wasn't doing kids' movies. Um, this is the collector's edition. And we were talking about this the other night um, Stallone, Wesley Snipes, Demolition Man. Just trying to get all the Stallone stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put that back on the shelf. 
Next time I got two comedies that I've seen one. I haven't seen the other one. Ten Things I Hate About You. I have seen this one. Really enjoyed it. I was hoping it would come with a slip, but it didn't. Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger. Rest in peace. Then we've got the 10-year reunion edition of Can't Hardly Wait. I heard it's out of print. I want it for 9 bucks, but it's going for like 30 and 40 bucks on Amazon and eBay sometimes. I'll see it. Um, so, yeah. Look forward to checking that one out. Uh, let's see. Continuing on with the war movies, we've got Hurt Locker with... Uh, what is Hurt Locker? Who's, gonna, who's in Hurt Locker? Who's in it? Who's in it? Joseph Fiennes again. Anthony Mackie's in it. Random. Yeah. Hurt Locker, that gun. War movie. Fuck your mean. Oh, look at this cheese fast. Bloodsport and Time Cop, baby. Eee! We're definitely going to be watching uh, these these movies soon. Well, if the guys have already watched them, I'm going to watch them. Because you just can't go wrong with Bloodsport, dude. And I, Time Cop, I haven't seen this in so long. But... Now, this movie I found for $2.99 at CD Wire, Great Escape. Man, what a movie. Never seen it. I've heard great things about it. And that's uh, Joaquin Phoenix and John Travolta in Ladder 49. Man, this movie's awesome. If y'all haven't seen this, check it out, man. Oh, God, it's so good. It's one of those emotional roller coaster movies. Okay. Yep, I said that. Getting some more Tom Hanks um, for the collection. You got Tom Hanks, Paul Newman, and Jude Law, Road to Perdition. Another Tom Hanks movie that I've heard is amazing. I've just never seen it. Look forward to that. I need to get Catch Me If You Can as well. And then I already own, I own the regular version of this, but when I found this in the pawn shop, I just sold my regular version. And that's the Boondock Saints Truth and Justice Edition. I thought this movie was awesome, man. Um, comes with that completely useless digital copy, but it's got the theatrical and the uncut director's or unrated director's cut version on it. So I look forward to revisiting the Boondock Saints. Love that movie. Um, one Scream Factory I did find randomly. It was brand new at McKay's for 10 bucks. It was just like a screener somebody got because the hole punches through it. That is The Island with Michael Caine. Heard it's a good creepy movie, man. This is from 1980. So look forward to checking it out, man. It was cool to anytime you can find a Scream Factory for 10 This is one of those that never goes under $15, $20. So to find it for that, I was glad to add that to the Scream Factory collection. Next up, we've got Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. Now, this one, I've, this one's out of print, but they Outlaw picked up one, and his had one with the digital HD code. So, apparently, it got re-released at some point. Now, I don't know if there was anything different in it other than having a code with it, but this is an old Echo Bridge title from 2011. But, man, what a, what a classic movie. Classic spoof movie. And uh, glad to find that one. It was like six bucks. Next up, we got a movie. It was pretty good. Um, this was a two ninety nine pickup at uh, one of the Cash Americas. I went to like five different Cash America palms. How to be single. Um, a lot of hot chicks in this movie. Leslie Mann, who's one of my favorite chicks. I, I love her. God. Um, you got Rebel Wilson, who's funny but annoying as fuck it sometimes. Dakota Johnson and Allison Brie. I don't really know what I've seen them from. They were okay. This movie was all right. Um... It's not funny, as funny as like Bad Moms or Sisters or anything like that, but it was alright. It'll, it'll definitely be one I keep around. Um, then we got another war film. We got Platoon, Oliver Stone uh, film. Haven't seen this in forever, but I loved it back when I watched it. This is probably four or five years ago. It's Oliver Stone, Dead Gummit. William Defoe's in it. Charlie Sheen's in it, Dead Gummit. Tiger Blood. A little, bit of, a little bit of AIDS next to it. Whew, too soon, Chad. Rundown. With the Rock, this was a five ninety six or at Walmart. I don't know how it got mixed into the eBay's. <gasps> but, but. Never seen it, but I'm trying to get all the Dwayne Johnson movies. And that one's not in my update. It was just mixed in. Murder in the First. Um, Christian Slater, Kevin Bacon, Gary Oldman. This movie was incredible. If you haven't seen this, definitely give it a look. <clears throat> I don't think it's on a. Um, like Netflix or anything, but it's a cheap, cheap title. You could probably find it for three or four dollars. Um, Christian Slater's a lawyer, and Kevin Bacon is a guy that escaped Alcatraz and gets put in the hole, and they, they just abuse the shit out of him and mess him up for life, and that's what the whole trial is about. And so good. Kevin Bacon does such a good job in this movie. 
Next up, we've got Straw Dogs, the original, with Dustin Hoffman. I, this one was okay. Now, 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 I also picked up whoop, Straw Dogs remake, which I love with James Marsden, Kate Bosworth, and Mr. Skarsgård there. Like this one a lot better. This one's just a real slow burn. I mean, granted, it's from 1971. It's still creepy, but it, it's just not. It's just dated. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd kind of compare it to like when you watch Hills Have Eyes, the original, and then you watch the remake. The first one, even though it's still creepy, it's still it appears dated. That's kind of how this one was. I still enjoyed it though. I'm definitely gonna keep them both. Up. Star, uh, Straw Dogs, the original and the remake there. That's maybe the longest update ever. Uh, I found this for 10 bucks at uh, McKay's, and I've been wanting this for Bone Blue Ray since I started collecting blues, but it went out of print for a long time. Now I don't think it is anymore, but it's like $20-something on Amazon, and that's the Analyze This and Analyze That 2-pack. De Niro's my favorite actor. These are some of my favorite movies of his. Him and Billy Crystal have great chemistry. It's fucking hilarious movies, both of them. Another war movie. <laughs> Whammy. Nicholas Cage and Wind Talkers. I talked all that shit about Heinz Paul and about how they don't have nothing, right? That one time when he went. This is where I found it. And I've, I've, I've never seen Wind Talkers anywhere before. And I like to, in the store to buy. So it's Nicholas Cage and it's a war movie. It's got to be great. It's probably not great, but. Now, I have the first three of these, um, which I like the first three. I haven't seen these three. But they were at CD Warehouse on a buy two get one for buy three get one free. So I got these three, and then my free one was one of these. Oh yeah. So I picked up <clears throat> Paranormal Activity Four um, with the slip. I like I said I haven't seen the the last this one. Um, and then I also picked up these were. Three ninety nine a piece, and then I got the fourth one free. You got Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, and I know these probably aren't good, but I wanted to complete the paranormal stuff that I've got, and then they all had codes with them too that I was able to sell for a dollar or two. So, and then Paranormal Activity, the Ghost Dimension. I heard this one was dog shit, but I, ha I mean it was three dollars, man. You know? No, you don't. Yeah, you do. You're watching this year collector, and then the free one I got was Perfect Storm with George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg. Never seen it. Um, heard it's an amazing, like, disaster film, so look forward to that. There's so many movies. Continuing on, we've got Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I think this was a pawn shop pickup. Um, I used to have this on VHS back in the day. Good old Brian Adams song. This is the extended version, so it's probably 500 minutes long. 155 minutes, that's not that bad. And then I found this for eight bucks. Eight bucks. The Lord of the Rings motion picture trilogy. And the cool thing about this is I had the trilogy um, a while back that it was just, it was like that Best Buy one that was just like the, the disc. This actually, this is the Canadian edition. It's all three movies. And then it's like the special features, which I watched the special features disc on the Fellowship. Some of the stuff, and it was really cool. Like going about Everybody talks about the extended versions. It's a wonder I make it through these regular ones because it's such a, a haul of a movie. But I thought that was really cool. And this is going for like 40 or 50 bucks on eBay. And then continuing on, we got Valkyrie, Tom Cruise. Heard great things about this one. This is one that I got at a pawn shop for a couple of bucks. Another war movie. <laughs> and another Mel Gibson. We were soldiers, man. Great, great movie. I used to have the DVD of this back in the day. This is another pawn shopper for about four bucks. So I'm glad to get that one. And then we got another one. This was eBay. This was eight dollars. Um, Pacino is my second favorite actor ever, and this is one of his movies nobody ever talks about. And I guess because it's not a gangster movie or anything like that, it's just like a, it's just a drama. Um, but I loved it, and that's a Sea of Love. Great, great Pacino flick. Underrated, too, I thought. Um, now, here we go. This is where the fellas made fun of me, too. Because when I was out doing my... This isn't eBay, either. This is when I was out doing my pawn shop run, run around. 
I had about seven pawn shops and McKay's in one day. And I picked up Drive Angry with the slip for $2 at um, McKay's, right? So I was like, hell yeah. Then I went to Great Escape later in the day, and I was like, but for some reason, when I bought Drive Angry, in my head, I thought it was Ghost Rider, the first one, right? So I go and I pick up Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, which I heard is one of the worst movies ever. I pick up the sequel to Ghost Rider, thinking I bought Ghost Rider early in the day, and, I, and it was Drive Angry. So now I got the sequel to Ghost Rider, but I don't have the first one, so I got to find that one. I heard they're both god awful, but they just thought that was the funniest thing ever, and, and it really is. I was buying so many Blu rays that I forgot what I bought. That's WrestleMania. That's why I'm a maniac. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's the whole point. Next up, we got Four Brothers. Man, what an awesome movie. Mark Wahlberg, Tyrese Gibson, Audrey Benjamin, Garrett Hedlund. $2.99, a great escape. Great, great drama there, man. Uh, next up, we've got. Interstellar. I had the Target exclusive still book that I ended up selling back when they were going for a lot on eBay. Um, cause I knew eventually I'd just get the, the blue again. Um, and I found it with the slip and they said that sl slips really, really hard to find, even though mine's got goo goo all over it, but I'll have to get some goo gone to get rid of that goo goo there. Next up, we've got cruel intentions. This was a pawn shop pickup for a couple of dollars. I think two bucks. I think she gave it to me for I've never seen this in stores ever. This is uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Ryan Phillippe, and Reese Witherspoon. A movie I'd seen, I've, I saw when I was in high school, but I don't remember anything about it. I think I watched it with a high school girlfriend, trying to get lucky, you know. Probably didn't work. Um, Cruel Intentions. Yeah. It probably did, actually. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Check. Move on. Say Anything with John Cusack. This came with the code as well. So this was a $3, and I sold the code for 3 So this was free. Cameron Crowe film. They were basically saying, you know, a lot of people were saying John Cusack made some great, you know, romantic comedies back in the day, and I hadn't seen any of them, I don't think. I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen Better Off Dead. I haven't seen a couple of his other ones, but to get that for free, when I went, I wasn't going to buy it, and then I saw it had the code on it, and then when I knew I, when I flipped the code, I was like, well, yeah, let's just get it. Say anything. And we've got another Denzel film and another war film that is Courage Under Fire. You got Denzel, Meg Ryan, and um, a young Matt Damon in this one. This was four bucks a CD warehouse. Just trying to get all those Denzel flicks, man. All right, and last but not least, they had this one of the, these movies for four ninety nine at Best Buy. And I was gonna go get it until I saw the two pack for seven ninety nine. That is a League of Their Own and The Natural. Another Tom Hanks film added to the collection. A great, great movie. I've never seen The Natural, but I heard it's great. Robert Redford. So. Glad to add that to the collection as well. And uh, we're finally fucking done. 80 freaking movies. Way too many. Just way too many, Chad. But uh, <laughs> we're done. I love each and every one of y'all. Be sure to so, to check out my boy Jay's um, uh, collectible website that I'm going to be posting in the description box. And y'all be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Blue Limit for Life, baby. Ooh.